for joining me once again. Here's an update about the interstellar comet 3i Atlas. It's rapid brightening. The interstellar comet 3i Atlas discovered on July 1st of this year by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile is indeed undergoing a dramatic surge in brightness as it hurls towards the inner solar system. Originally detected at around magnitude 17, barely visible, even in large telescopes, it has now reached a magnitude 12 to 13 as of mid-September, representing a roughly 40-fold increase in brightness since early September, far exceeding standard predictive models for cometary activity. This unexpected acceleration in brightening has astronomers buzzing as it deviates from the steady trend observed earlier in its approach. So why is it brightening so rapidly? Comets like 3i Atlas become more active as they near the sun, with solar heat causing loss primarily of water and CO2 and other gases to sublimate into gases forming a glowing coma and tail. Mid-September observations indicate an outburst phase where the comet is ejecting material faster than expected, pushing its light curve above the predicted line. This could stem from volatile ice like CO2 heating up, potentially leading to fragmentation. Recent images reveal a green tinge coma due to possible decarbon or unfamiliar interstellar chemistry spanning five arch minutes with the tail pointing towards the sun. An anti-tail effect from the orbital geometry. Hubble's July 21st image showed a teardrop-shaped dust cocoon around the nucleus. And as of September 18th, yesterday, its total magnitude nucleus plus coma is 13.1, making it 121 times fainter than the brightest C slash 2025A6 lemon, but still observable in mid sized telescopes under dark skies. Orbital path and timeline. 3I Atlas is on a hyperbolic trajectory, confirming its interstellar origin likely ejected from another star system billions of years ago. It's traveling at 210 kilometers per hour from the direction of Sagittarius. I believe, if you might correct me if I'm wrong, but Sagittarius was the star system where um, SETI uh, UFO uh, researchers picked up the WOW signal back in, what, 1971? Something like that. They say that the closest timeline that it will be to Earth is between November and December. It will be 1.0 AU or 270 million kilometers. Its closest approach to Mars will be October 3rd. The closest it will be to the Sun will be October 30th. It will be 1.4 AU inside Mars orbit. Peak activity is expected then. Post perihelion viewing will be December onward. It'll be in the constellation Leo and could reach a magnitude 12 if surge continues. So how to observe it? Where do you look? Well, its current location is in Libra, uh, visible low in the western sky after sunset between July and September. You can use apps like Starwalk or Stellarium for exact positions. You will need an 8 to 10 inch telescope minimum to see it. Binoculars won't work yet. And you look for a fuzzy star with a hint of a tail. Yeah, right now it's 400 times fainter than naked eye comets. So you're not going to be able to see it with a naked eye. Best to be seen from the southern hemisphere now. Northern viewers get a clearer shot in December. There's been a lot of odd things about this. Um, asteroid or comet, whatever you want to call it. 
Observations on August 6 revealed an unusual high CO2 to water ice ratio, 8 to 1, suggesting formation in a cooler, more carbon rich environment than our solar system. If the brightening persists, it could become the brightest interstellar visitor yet, rivaling predictions for the magnitude 12 by late October. So they just don't know this surge in brightness could be a temporary outburst or a sign of impending breakup. Comets are unpredictable after all. Yeah, so stay tuned. Telescopes worldwide are looking on it. And if you're stargazing, yeah, clear skies if you have a large telescope. So what are your thoughts? Do you think it's breaking up? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.